Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. A few weeks ago, I shared with you a tutorial on how I reproduced an antique quilt. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the techniques for making some minor changes to modernize the quilt. Here is the previously designed garden maze quilt. My first step was to bring in a different fabric collection. Select fabric tools and select open library. The collection I decided to use was one of the free downloads from Do You EQ. I will include a link to the EQ website if you would like to download this collection. And the collection I am using is the 2021 June collection from Riley Blake called Dream. Click on one of the fabrics and then select Select All Fabrics, Add to Sketchbook, and Close. I love using Swap Color to make recoloring the quilt easier. I started by replacing the dark brown with a light green. I then replaced the light tan with a white fabric. And there wasn't one in the collection, so I just used a white color. I decided to recolor the center of the eight-pointed star with a blue. Now for that, I used the paintbrush and the control or command key on my keyboard. And so I could just repaint one block. And because I had control or command on, all of the other blocks changed at the same time. I then switched back to swap color to replace the light tan with that same light blue. I decided to introduce an accent color and selected the mauve pink and started by recoloring the binding. Select Add to Project Sketchbook to save the new coloring. Then under Block Tools, use the eyedropper and locate the sashing block. Right click on the block and select Edit Block. To make sure this block stays piecing friendly, I'm going to double check the size of the block in the quilt. Select the quilt work table and select Print and Export. Click on one of the sashing blocks and notice that the width is 7 and the height is 6. Select the block work table and in the precision toolbar change the width to 7 and the height to 6. And let's snap every quarter inch. So we're going to set the snaps horizontal at 28 and the snaps vertical at 24. Draw vertical lines at 3 and 4 inches. Between the vertical lines, draw horizontal lines at 1, 2, 4, and 5 inches. Select the color tab and using fabric tools, adjust the coloration of the block. I decided to add a white along with the mauve and add to the project sketchbook. On the quilt work table, under the design tab, select set block and now with the control or command key, click on a horizontal and a vertical sashing block. If you need to rotate the block, use the controller command key as well as the rotate button in the block tools. Now let's add a little piecing in the points out border. This will be designed as a half block using Easy Draw. Select the block work table and do a new block pieced Easy Draw. And rather than designing it at the size of the block, I am just going to design it at 12 by 12. And I'm going to set the snaps every half inch, so that would be 24 by 24. With snapping options, just snap to grid. With the line tool, draw a diagonal line from the lower left corner to the upper right corner. Then draw additional diagonal lines at 6 and 8 inches. Draw another diagonal line from the upper left corner to the lower right corner. Select the line with the pick tool and then select convert to guides. Now that I found the center, it will be easier to draw three squares between the six and eight inch diagonal lines. 
go one grid point over from the center for the first set of lines. Then for the next set, go over two grid points. Select the color tab and color the block with white and the green. Now I am not going to color the lower right corner because that is not going to be visible in our quilt. And select Add to Project Sketchbook. Select the Quilt Work Table and now on the Design tab, under Set Block, scroll to the last block that was just drawn and with the Controller Command key, select one of the white blocks from the Points Out border. We will need to do some rotation so that we are seeing the pieced portion of the block. If you use the Alt or Options key on your keyboard, you can adjust the orientation of all of the blocks on one side of a border. I then decided to add a couple of borders. Select the Border tab. Select the Points Out border and select Insert. Keep the style a long horizontal and change the size to 1.5. Then select the binding and change the style to long horizontal and change that size to 1.5 as well. Select the design tab and select fabric tools and use the mauve pink to color the two borders. To preserve the 90 degree angle on the points out border, I want to make the width twice as big as the height. So under print and export, select the block and make a note of the width. And then with a calculator, divide the width, which is 10.33 by 2, to get the desired height, which is 5.165. Select the Borders tab and select the Points Out border and now change the size to 5.165. Select the Design tab and I think I am done so I'm going to go ahead and add this to the project mm -hmm. sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at onpointquilter.com.